the headline here, the budget deficit will balloon to a trillion by the year 2020. Yeah, uh, this is something that Wall Street's been expecting. Private forecasters had said we would be seeing trillion dollar deficits because of the president's tax reform bill, the Republican tax reform bill on Capitol Hill. And now the Congressional Budget Office has basically confirmed it. They put out their forecast for the coming years. They had delayed that to put in the impacts of the budget deficit. And they do a look at revenues and outlays and come up with a trillion dollar deficit, just crossing trillion dollars in 2020. Although in 2019, you get 900 181 billion. Yeah, it's a rounding error, right? Yeah. Let's go to this chart here, G hashtag BTV5937, and you can see it's sort of uh, laid out here. I just do a, a, drew a quick arrow uh, as to where we're going to be. Uh, we're right here now where um, the 2017 ended at $665 billion, and we go down and hit that trillion dollar mark in 2020 and keep going until you get uh, almost one and a half trillion dollars by 2028. So uh, a lot of of red ink ahead. Now, this administration would tell you growth is going to help. It's going to help um, deduce or take away some of the uh, forecast increased deficit we see over the next couple of years. And at least as far as 2018 is concerned, growth significantly higher in their projections relative to what we got back in June. Well, that also has been the Wall Street forecast that we get a boost because of the fiscal stimulus for a few years, and that will help bring down the budget deficit, although in March the budget deficit uh, was higher than it was a year ago by about $27 billion. So it remains to be seen whether we actually get that impact. Yeah. If we do, it'll be towards the end of the year. Now, take a look at uh, this one, G hashtag BTV6039. This is the budget deficit as a percentage of GDP and as it gets worse it gets a it eats up a bigger part of our uh, GDP gets to 5.1% in 2028 hadn't seen that other than for the financial crisis but hadn't seen that since the recession uh, in the early Reagan years when Reaganomics was adopted and they cut taxes a lot